prison overcrowding. No one can stop me. So that's the mafia. I'm above the law. Prisons are not about rehabilitation and education and helping people and compassion and humanity. They're about warehousing human beings to maximize profits. And if those human beings that are now commodities behave in a peculiar way, then these guards are not trained to be nice to these people. They just taser them down and, and beat them up and smash them. And people say to me, Sean, guards murdering mentally ill prisoners. Come on now, how can that even be possible? And I say, go to my YouTube channel. I've got multiple videos on my YouTube channel of guards murdering mentally ill prisoners. Marty Atencio uh, went to the war in the Middle East and came back PTSD. He was in a car park, hardly even doing anything. I think he, he was yelling at a woman. They brought him in. And it shows the guards, they're facing him in a cell, and he doesn't do anything. He doesn't attack anybody. One guard steps forward, grabs him, throws him down, they fall on him like a pack of wolves and they just beat the daylights out of him until he's dead. Scott Norberg, mentally ill man wandering a neighborhood, they brought him in. The guard started beating him, electrocuting him with tasers. A female guard tried to stop it. His face has turned blue, stopped beating him. They kept beating him and even after he was dead they kept beating him and the prisoners started yelling, why are you beating him, he's already dead. But from these videos and what I've watched, once they start beating someone, that part of the brain takes over, the animal part of the brain. They're just like a pack of wolves, literally you see them just savaging these, these people. There was another guy, Brian Crenshaw, he was a, classified as a partially blind shoplifter. He failed to produce his ID for the evening meal. They broke his neck, severe internal injuries, he went into a coma, he died over a month later.